What's up? It's Big King. What's happening? What's up, y'all? Everything in my life I've done big. From my big voice to my big smile, just straight big energy, period. <laughs> including my big fuck-ups. <laughs> but without those, I wouldn't be here in front of you today. Let me tell you how bad it got. I jumped off the porch when I was like 14 years old. That's just something you say when you start banging. I banged for like 15 years straight. I definitely wasn't playing about my hood either. Selling drugs, getting shot at, all day, every day. 15 gangster years is like 30 regular years. <laughs> it's a long ass time. Then I finally got caught up. It was like a little setup by this snitch named Todd. After that, it got even worse. I had to go to prison, and when I was there, I found out I was pregnant with my second child during intake. But somebody told me that if they find out you're pregnant during intake, you, you get signed up automatically for double food portions. <laughs> And for that reason, I just, you know, I went with it. I, didn't, I, I kept the baby. You know, I, I, wasn't in, I wasn't in love with the father. Let's just keep that 100. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew nobody probably wasn't going to put no money on my books. So, you know, I had to eat. I, I always love to eat. <laughs> but being there, you know, I quickly realized that I wasn't like these other inmates. Mm -mm. They was just a little too comfortable for me. They'd be in there like braiding hair, laughing, watching movies. I thought they might come back. I knew I wasn't. I'd be sitting off to the side by myself, just like writing in my notebook. I want to go home. I want to go home. I want to go home. And I did. <laughs> I'm curious, have y'all ever been anywhere you didn't want to be? Don't say here today. <laughs> Being locked up can mess your head up. It can, it can really put you in a dark place if you let it. It was still like seven years, seven more years before I really even started to get my shit together, even after that. If you thought this was a, a get out of jail, then everything just started going great story, is not that story. <laughs> after that, it, it got worse. I got pregnant again, and then again. And both times, the fathers, they didn't want nothing to do with me or them. But since I had been down that path before, the final time, I was like, you know what? This time I was like, you know what? Bet. We're going to see who get the last laugh. I knew it was going to be me. So I invented something internally. I invented the Great Wall of Key. No, nobody could get in. Nobody was allowed inside or around me at all. I even went cold as celibate for over, well over five years. That's how serious I was about changing my life. I couldn't accept no distractions. I mean, my kids even suffered too. One of my daughters, 
she literally like missed the whole sixth grade. Um, babysitting my youngest child so I could be out here building loaded. I know it was a tough decision to allow that, but I knew it would be the best thing for the future of our little family. So I went from the Great Wall of Key to Key's soon to be iconic loaded kitchen. <laughs> born right here in the best food card city in America, Portland, right? Yeah. <laughs> I got the biggest, baddest plates in the city. And that's facts. Because it's not what you make, it's what you put into it. And this right here is going to have me going all through it. My key, my key ingredient is me. Your key ingredient is you. You could, be making this, <laughs> you could be making the exact same thing as me right now, but yours is not going to taste like mine. <laughs> Mine's going to taste better. <laughs> so, I'll be in the food cart. I'll be having like Al Green on, right? I'm playing Motown, anything Motown. And I just like really just love my products. I just be having a ball all by myself before the employees get there. A sprinkle from the gods. I'll be in there. I'll be in there like spending my day hey, thinking about you, girl. The brisket is the girl. <laughs> Being here with you. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> When I started Loaded, something changed. Life changed. I ain't have to live that other life no more. I just decided to make me a new one. And I just started making plates simply just the way I like to eat. Loaded. <laughs> and people start pulling up. Like, they really start pulling up, up. Then I was like, I guess some other people like to eat like me as well. <laughs> In Portland, people are really serious about food. And it wasn't because I was one of the only people making this type of food. It was, I was doing it so big. I was bringing myself into it every time. I mean, and then like loaded just became a thing. A thing thing, everybody was coming. In closing, everything I do, I do it big. Life is too short to settle for small, and I want that for you too. <laughs> I want you to live big, I want you to work big, and I want you to love big. <laughs> oh. <laughs>